on our line for Republicans. George, Hudson, Florida. Good morning. How are you today? Morning, George. Morning, George. I, I, that's funny. I'm sitting here listening to these phone calls, and it's, it seems like I'm, I'm swimming in a sea of stupidity. Uh, some of these callers are just crazy. Uh, my question is, what, uh, what are we going to do about these orders that Obama, our worst president ever in America, uh, when Obama is out of office, we get a good president in there. How are we going to turn these uh, orders around? What are we going to do without finding some type of um, landmine in them? You know, where it's going to screw the, uh, the uh, Republican that uh, succeeds them. What are we going to do to get, get, the, get us on the right course? Okay, George. Get well, we've got a couple of years to work that out, and, and I'll be uh, doing my best to have conversations with these presidential candidates as they hopefully come to Iowa. Um, but I'm, I'm just thinking that a new president, by the time he swears in on January 20th of 2017, will have had his staff go through every single executive action on the part of the, the uh, President Obama over eight years. And I would expect that there would be a very early announcement that there would be many executive orders that would be rescinded on the first day. That would be my recommendation. Anything that's done by executive action can be rescinded immediately, and that'll, that'll happen in a lot of cases. Then uh, we have the situation with Obamacare. I have worked for a long time to, uh, well, first to defeat it and then to repeal it, and I'm going to continue that effort in this new Congress, and we'll hopefully lay that foundation. So let's see how this plays out. It's a long ways into the future, and I will say this. There's a really good field of presidential candidates that are emerging, and I'm impressed with many of them.